So this is the second part of my January Art Snacks Sketchbox uh, comparison review. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and test out what was sent to me in my Sketchbox. Let me see if I can fix the lighting. There we go, it's a little bit better. So I have um, a piece of watercolor paper that I provided myself here. I have the Koi water brush that they sent me, which is a very small water brush. Let me just, let me just do a comparison for you guys. This is a Pentel Aquash water brush, same size point, huge body compared. I don't know why they sent the portable um, water brush. Let's see. This is a T Prime water brush. This one is about as small as that, but it has a fill piston. And this is the new Derwent water brush which probably holds the most water of all so as you can see the one that was sent with sketchbox is a small travel size one and I don't really understand why they sent a travel size so I've already filled it up and this black plug here is to hold your water in place so it doesn't get everywhere in your sketch box um, when the two halves are separated because it's meant to be stored separate um, and I actually don't use mine because I don't like it <laughs> I'd rather use actual brushes. So we have the watercolor pencils right here. And it comes with a brush and the brush is pretty much pretty garbage. I'm gonna use the water brush, I think, but I'm gonna have to use the horrible brush at some point. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mark a line. Let me see if I can find a Sharpie. Sharpies are not archival. I don't recommend using this, but I want to test out the white. So here's my Sharpie line to test opacity with the white. I'm going to go ahead and get started with these. Um, so we're starting with black. Again, these pencils do not have a name on them, which is uh, unusual for me as someone who uses watercolor pencils sometimes. So got to get that brush started. Brush wasn't started. Okay, there's the water. As you can see, let me zoom in so you can see even better. As you can see, it takes some scrubbing to get that pigment moving when you directly apply the pencil to your paper. Um, I still have some pretty harsh pencil lines that aren't coming out. Um, cleaning the brush now because that's what you have to do with these water brushes is you have to clean them out by scrubbing them on another piece of paper or um, I like to use a paper towel. So here's the purple. And this watercolor paper actually has a lot of tooth to it. Um, so it should be good for watercolor pencils. Like it should really pick up the pigment. But unfortunately, that doesn't seem to matter. Try putting like you know a saturated area. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't like these, they get leaky, they'll just like drip if you squeeze too hard. So, not getting any color movement. Which is a shame. I think you can get art alternatives. Um, like at Michael's, uh, some independent art supply stores. Um, their, their canvases are actually okay. I do my, <coughs> sorry about that. I do my Posca stuff on their canvases because I mean, they're just like regular mini canvases. But in general, I don't buy art alternatives personally. And I'm pretty disappointed to be honest that I was sent art alternatives. I guess I should have gone for the premium box, but the way I feel is if I can buy these supplies on my own for less, for like, if the total of what I can buy these supplies for is um, $5 less than the sketch box, it's still not a good deal because they're buying these supplies in bulk, ideally from the manufacturer. So they should be getting some form of a discount. Like that's the point of a subscription service, especially if you want practicing artists, professional artists to buy in. 
and I know a lot of YouTubers review these boxes and have a lot of positive things to say about them. Um, some of them are being gifted these boxes and that make, I think it makes some of a difference when you're paying out of pocket for the box as opposed to when you're, you're buying it yourself. I also, part of the problem is I was really excited about uh, Sketchbox because I paid for it in November and I didn't get it until January. Um, so I had like a month and a half of waiting for this box and it's a watercolor box and I'm a watercolor artist and I'm already really, really disappointed with what they included. So that's not, that's not good. I guess I should say perhaps that like, um, I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't buy art alternatives, watercolor pencils for a kid I liked because they're not performing the way they should. And I feel like when you give kids, um, well that broke, subpar art supplies, it just teaches them to dislike the process and to dislike art because they it, it even if they may not have the technical skill you know you also have a supply that isn't working the way it's supposed to and it's fighting them and I've talked about that on this channel a lot like I'm really not a fan of buying kid grade Mickey Mouse supplies for people I think you should if you're buying for a kid you should buy maybe less but something ah oh, shoot something really good okay so already these have not performed very well at all this is the white going over the black sharpie marker hardly any difference so um i'm gonna grab another sheet of watercolor paper and i'm gonna test the aquatone pencils that they sent me with their flaky stickers and um, this water I actually keep a lot of scrap watercolor paper by my desk so um, I can quickly do tests and this isn't nearly as doesn't have as much tooth but it is pretty decent I think it's Canson Biggie which is surprisingly good for um, what it is And with these kind of woodless pencils, you have to be careful because if you're heavy-handed like I am, they have a tendency to snap off or snap apart in your hand because it's not like the sticker is providing any sort of support. These are a little bit better. These are actually a lot better than the uh, than the art alternatives they sent. I wish they had sent nothing but the Aquatone. <laughs> Would be better than the art alternatives. So um, as you can see, the pigment disperses nicely into the watercolor. You could do a clean wash with it, at least with uh, burnt umber. Let's find out with Prussian blue. Yeah, Prussian blue is nice too. So of what they sent me, this performs as expected, no better, no worse. It is not my favorite water brush. There are better water brushes on the market, but it's okay and it's portable. If you want to use what they sent you as a sketching set, uh, this water brush is probably ideal. It'll fit in your pocket. The alt art, art alternatives watercolor pencils are awful. Um, the Aquatone pencils are pretty dang good. So that was this quick test. Please check back because um, I'm going to be doing a I'm going to be making something with what they sent me. And check back also for the rest of my art snacks review. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.